July 19, 2021 it is. Ladies and gentlemen, I welcome you to this program. Um, a video I was looking forward to. A video I have even forgotten about. It will have to be done at one point in my life. Most of the people never believe something like this could possibly come to life. But here it is. In part one, I'll go ahead and I'll have audio presented for you, translated nicely, properly. In audio, I will demonstrate uh, how eventually I have identified uh, more people and moreover, it's these people who have self-identified with me uh, at the place. No other as per involvement in a theater is place well-known place right on the top of Tershkagara it's a church of Saint Mary is birth that's where Pope Jan Pavel came in the 96 along the route I have already identified many other people I told you this was the preferred number one route of the political, if you like, elite, politicians, and more uh, royals and so on. Yeah. Then, as you see right here, it says Black Lives Matter. And that's basically, it's either going to be done in part number two. I don't know. Maybe it's going to be done in this very same video. I will concentrate on this here this is actually a Mike Tyson a Don King I will concentrate on the stuff like this I'm going to concentrate on how exactly my life was ruined in the United States of America who ruined one how my life was ruined and as I stated it's going to concern a lot. It's known as a black lies matter. Uh, I would love, and I did support it throughout the Donald Trump's presidency, black lives matter movement. But because, hey, I want you to see me, because of your top representatives, because of your actions meaning a top representatives who have done the stuff you're going to learn in this video for the, what your people in Black Lives Matters knew very well about and it's not even about the top people so much it's about the people below that too the broad audience, the broad public in the US that stood up for this movement knew very much about this case did not took proper actions, did not face with the justice, with the truth, and have rather omit lies for the cost of my life. And I bet, I bet, there are many other people in the US like myself. I am going to do what I was warned against the most. Uh, go into details about this case who did what did why but the first thing I want to do is that it should be a really interesting video because this video I deemed and this is to the black lies matters I think you are really really running out of time and the clock for you is turning faster and faster you're almost barely gone. Barely you have a chance to get in touch with me. Barely, still, barely you have a chance to correct your wrongdoings. Are your demands brutal? Threats? Of course, life threats financial threats, demands 
expectations. And then all in between, it was like, spare us. I don't really know in what category you would fit. Because I know in the US, things go very, very wrong. And not even for the people that scream are deprived of rights, of the human rights. It could be, and it is, according to the numbers, for the silent majority. For the one unfortunately voted for Donald Trump, I don't want to support, I don't want to side with, but your conduct make things completely impossible because of you, I lost 26 years of life, because of you, it's many Slovenian people that were murdered because of your conduct, because of your criminal conduct. My country's reputation was tarnished. You strike the deal, literally, with the enemy of my country, of my people. You struck the deal against the Constitution of the United States of America, ignoring completely Bill of Rights. You struck the deal against the post-World War II peace treaties. You're nothing but a pain. Let's go. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I will have this audio translate first. Obtain more NK Ultra proofs. Then what I will do is I will concentrate on a political portion so that I will explain who ruined my life in the US and also here in Slovenia. First of all, I did publish this audio online. Uh, this was recorded about a month ago, something like that. But I published one on the July the 16th of 2021. It's an audio. This is the audio. Now I'm going to get this audio translated for you. There are three people I'm going to identify. And they also will self-identify. They will connect themselves to my case, basically, indirectly admitting they know me very well. Uh, I see the gentleman, he is rushing a broom right in front of his home at the top of this uh, hill, at the top of this, where the church is. Uh, I already have spoken many times about this, the theater out of the politicians. And I asked him, I said, hey, you're working today. Hi, how are you? Hello, Tim Hi. Uh, he said, do you recognize me? Do you know me? You know, this gentleman was very, very seldomly to be seen. Very, very, very seldomly to be seen. The reason why this gentleman was very, very, very seldomly to be seen is because we had a special, special, special guest. A very, very, very special guest from Moscow. We had a very, very special guest from Serbia. That's why. This is basically the main reason why uh, this gentleman was very, very seldomly present. Uh, his home is right behind the statue here. That's why this gentleman was seldomly, seldomly, seldomly present. And when the beatings started, I am referring to the... Uh, video which I have created some time ago 
titled as a Russian gangster state in independent Slovenia and Kyoto humiliations in 1995 and memorials dedicated to the World War II partisans in Slovenia. Therefore, at the memorials in 1995, at the memorials dedicated to the World War II partisans in Slovenia, and this was one of the memorials in 1995 where uh, natives, where the locals already would observe me being beaten up brought beaten up like an animal from the US brought by people like Donald Trump under authorization of Bill Clinton brought here by the FBI by the Central Intelligence Agency and beaten up in front of this memorial one of the memorials it started in 95 I mentioned it was later no it was not later it was in 95 Definitely this was a statue of at 95, beaten up, humiliated, lied about how I'm Nazi and I don't know what I had to do with Nazism as much as with the last year's snow. But humiliated to the degree that I would say whatever the fuck you say. And once you say whatever the fuck you say, they say, yeah, you admit it, you see, you admit it. And uh, you could not possibly argue with them because it was more than just humiliation they were physical enough abusive eventually to terrorize locals into escapades the two daughters of the gentleman you hear escaped to the germany got married with the germans escaped they could not stand a chetniks that's from serbia Chetnik movements. Um, I did wrote about a Chetnik movement. In fact, today it's also related to this video here. This was um, what can I say? This stuff was really beyond bestial. I just really want you to get a proper taste about what exactly went on I'm really not doing well right now. I I don't actually even see the post I did. Hmm. Here it is. I want you to see what exactly Black Lives Matters defended. Okay? This is he this here is this is basically what he defended. Yes, this is what they defended. They defended a massacre. It is they defended this people here. Like I said, there is a limit to everything. I lost my life because of your criminal conduct and I will no longer compromise one because of you. Because of your lies matters. This is what they connected with service. These are the people they would come right here to Tershka Gora. In fact, their president today, Alexander Vucic, Vladimir Putin, with their team, these are the people 
barefoot torch in, the, in front of the memorials at the Peshka Gora. They would have also people here in Slovenia. Had technology known as MK Ultra. A video recorded this shit and distributed one to the people who they wanted to see me as a neo-Nazi. Um, they wanted to be seen as a partisans. They wanted to be seen as this here. They wanted to be seen as this here, as the partisans. That's how they wanted to be seen. But at the same time, these people murdered. In Slovenia, in this location, where Don King learned about a Slovenian boy, young Slovenian boy whose mother was half white South African, these people wanted to look in front of international society, in front of Americans with whom they have connected themselves with as partisans. At the same time, they committed a massacre in Bosnia, in Croatia, in Kosovo. They murdered people. They murdered people as a result of this criminal conduct of your black leaders in the United States of America, including Barack Obama. Dwayne Johnson, they murdered in Slovenia also Slovenian people, these people. This is the work of your leader, this is the work of the people you stood up for, this is the work of the people. I am not going to go into why a good portion of other black champions got involved in it and they just couldn't stop, they just couldn't say you know, I can't support this, this is not okay, it's not okay to do the stuff like this, but rather than to do that, rather than to do their basic citizen work, they lied. They lied, they lied, 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 and you know what? People died, and I lost 26 years. This year. This is what you stood up for, this thing here, for this hero, whom they have also dedicated the song. I got completely wrong about this. Uh, I present myself. The gentleman asks me, who are you? I tell him, that's my name, Bostianaus. It's a man right with a house right behind the memorials I have demonstrated. Aha. He says, aha. Yes, uh, uh, and then he says, uh, yeah, you're from the neighbors. He knows exactly, very, very good, who I am. Uh, he has seen a lot of stuff. I explained him, no, I'm not. From the neighbors, I was at the neighbors. We talked, we spoke. Uh, he asked me about other families, offsets uh, in an area. And I said, no, I'm not related to them. Maybe, maybe they are, who knows, maybe a distant relative or something. I'm not related to anybody around here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Kirkesi. It's Kirkesi. Yeah. Yeah, I do look different. Yeah, I do look different. I look very different. Uh, unrecognizable according to opi opinion of most of the people. Are you also like that? Yeah, father, father did some gardening and stuff like that. He played with a uh, fruit harvest tree with that kind of stuff. The two know each other. Yeah, it says you live in an Alamis and this and that, yeah. Vaše, vaše synove čerke. Ja sam čitio vaše synove čerke stale. I ask about his daughters and sons. 
uh, and he says well now let me explain something I'm completely mistaken right now because they made this thing very complicated it, it wasn't sure this thing ever is gonna come to true with this audio recording but I was told by someone who did I understand arranged all this that if my case becomes completely impenetrable impossible to not be recognized impossible to deny one he would do something like this and he really did this person's name however I am not gonna disclose um, the daughters only hell I am mistaken are the gentlemen according to the daughters according to the sons with someone else someone who actually brought me inside of this home someone who would take me for a trips to Slovenian coast during MK Ultra during MK Ultra they would use me I told you about the, the drug dealers I told you about that kind of stuff uh, I told you that Karadzic was stopped with me I was along the Karadzic in Austria in Italy and they grant him immunity that's how big this case was he would take me also to Croatia and he would distribute drugs he also would take me inside of his home actually had his beautiful sisters inside too uh, about whom I was crazy about and that's what I thought this home was from all through in a distant memory yeah it's his daughters but that was so long ago uh, that disappeared to Germany at one point in time in the very early stages because it was so fucking dangerous it was it was so crazy insane situation that a Serbian Chetniks not the partisans as they have presented themselves here in Slovenia but Chetniks had brought to Slovenia and with assistance of Russians they obtained all the support needed for the crime for the genocide for the extermination agenda against the Slovenes right here in Slovenia also thanks to Black Lives Matters he only has two daughters and uh, a grandkid is 23 years old so this is not the guy but still this is crazy because I know what the house looks like on the inside and it's impossible uh, I met another guy I did not put online the guy I told you about that took me inside his sisters and so on uh, they made very very confusing a lot a lot of information and information goes back to 95 96 so this now really confused me tremendously he says a grandson is impossible that you kind of a met uh, it was very little time he spent here in Slovenia. Mm -hmm. uh, but the daughter, you might remember, he did study here in Novo Mesto for some time. Uh, what I'm trying to say is, okay, when he said this thing, when he says, when he states to me, uh, earlier he asked me if I live here now this man knows that I did not even live here lived here for a very long time now he also knows when I left where I was in the US he knows everything about me he says you might have even known my daughter but my daughter you might have known she studied here still yeah it was just as you're about to hear uh, 
when I was brought from the US she was still in the school or something like this completed and then just took off from here I told you these people either self-identified or are identified I said for please allow me that I ask you a question because I want to end this dilemma immediately and demonstrate that I do remember what something at least what home looks like on the inside now <laughs> for me to go and see the home on the inside obviously I would have to go inside uh, how would I go past this gentleman who is standing with me outside uh, and see what it looks on the inside impossible because you cannot see anything unless you go on the inside but I don't have the x-rays uh, eyes that I would see so uh, I, th I tell them that when you go uh, at, uh, uh, once you enter inside it's everything beautiful like wooden inside like dressed in a wood wooden uh, really beautiful and it uh, reminded me a lot on a vacation home of uh, Mr. Andrianich also at the Adriatic Sea along uh, where he had his vacation home a really beautiful inside in, a, in a such a beautiful vacation style kind of uh, just in a wood he says it, it, it was not it was not wooden uh, it was the, uh, the priests they would live here it was a home of the priests Okay, uh, he says, and to be honest with you, I don't remember this very well. Um, but he tells me you remember that it was upstairs it was wood but below it was stone that's what he tells me he says no no not in, uh, this and that uh but no 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 i know my business i know my business i know my business he he, he basically tells me no because he tried to remind me what i should remember still on that mk ultra man but you know But he tells me then I had to tear everything down and build the whole thing from the ground uh, up. Um, he gives me a green light about the stairways I demonstrate where the stairways go like this and when you go inside I can see basically where I was and uh, I don't understand how this man he's talking about is 23 years old uh, it doesn't make sense to me because the guy I was with this is another guy this is a neighbor actually not far from there uh, who took me inside in there also his sisters were there um, it, it makes no sense to me what what he's talking about uh, he gives me confirmation but how the hell is he 23 years old okay it's impossible you would be a husband from the daughter this is I said but you only have a two daughters he says yeah I only have a two daughters sure 
He hit, uh, he tells me what exactly uh, after I ask him what exactly is the age of your daughters. He tells me uh, fifty. Let's hear this again. Um, the older one is 50 years old, studied in Croatia. He tried to tell me that you remember her. He, he keeps telling me that you remember her. Um, uh, <laughs> I ask him, do you, since that was in Croatia, I, I can't believe the guy, I can't believe this sneaky little something uh, set me up in a such a way that I still see him on a picture. It's just what I see in the picture is what it, what it, what it looks inside when he took me inside in there. Ah, uh, drugged up I was. That's MK Ultra. This is the. It's all kinds of stuff that goes through. Also, I kind of think that I'm not even sure what to think about this stuff. Yeah, but there is a Bambino not too far from here uh, that does this kind of business. He says maybe they, they were with the friends or something like this. I don't I, look. Maybe look. Maybe they were with the friends. Maybe they're friends. They, maybe they're friends. I have no idea. But I know exactly what it looks like on the inside. Never mind. I think he knows quite a lot about this. He's laughing. Uh, the daughters were really beautiful, yeah, sure. I am still shocked, I'm still in shock, I still think about this guy. Now this guy is... Yeah, younger than myself, maybe five, or maybe even ten years, I don't know. Younger than myself. Uh, and I'm in, in shock because he was the one who took me inside in there. I can't put him out of my head. And I'm thinking, I'm saying to myself, man, you totally double-crossed me because you basically, with this kind of idea I was coming up there, I got a completely wrong idea, you know, about who was inside of the house. I could concentrate a little more and basically get this right too uh, over course of the time but I didn't you know thanks to the stuff like this uh, every daughter has one child One is a physician, and one I'm not sure. So, uh, life is safe in Germany. Uh, it, it's it, it's kind of impossible to explain 
uh, what uh, I I develop a very very wrong idea thanks to this guy and and he tells me that the husbands are German and both husbands or both daughters are German and, and I keep melting in my head that that this this must be the guy that this is probably a husband this is just not a good job uh, but he keeps telling me you 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 were in the circle that's why you remember and this and that but basically he keeps assuring me like come down it's okay but boy boy <laughs> he is laughing <laughs> very interesting <laughs> okay uh, basically that's the end of the conversation with him in the end again I'm gonna play the whole audio I just one house down uh, it's about the white Africana, the white South African lady, which immigrated to Slovenia a long time before uh, any kind of racial tensions in South Africa. I promise you that. Long time ago. Um, how much of a long time ago? I don't know. Um, enough for me to say, uh, let's say 14 plus 26 is 40. So the son must be over 40 years old. That's how long ago. You understand? Long before. Uh, it was a love. Um, the two were, I, I think they met on a cruise line, whatever, and got married and started life here. Uh, she liked it here. Uh, I, well, I would say that was a very beautiful, that's a, was a very beautiful lady too and uh, the kid was born and um, at a very young age all parallel with this statues all parallel with this stuff uh, this kid paid uh, dearly yeah, that's what I'm gonna give a comment about Mike Tyson and Don King at the end of it because I paid too uh, yeah, he was basically transformed into a human plant uh, let's just continue with this I'm gonna a little fast forward to this stuff here and yeah. we'll go from here there's nothing Now I meet people whom I basically never see. Just like this gentleman, I never saw him before. I saw his wife, uh, whom I never have spoken with. But now I actually meet a mom and the son I have never spoken with. And, you know, under MK Ultra, this is like a door you open. And it's like, let's see what this is, is inside of this drawer. I say hello and they say hello hi we salute each other they say this is yours then here uh -huh. I present myself um, he said like this visually I can recognize you uh, but I don't know if we ever met before now this is a hello uh -huh. that's a uh, often one and that's my mom
så fordi jeg har meget som er en bror til mig. Man bor i Rom. Mom came to visit and helps with the flowers. Uh, with mom, we we do the stuff. Uh, she comes to help. I said I mentioned the father that I met the other day that he that he cut the grass along the uh, the the road that goes down. But that was not the father. That was uh, the man the next door. Well, you can give me another credit here for MK Ultra. I'm gonna put it this way. The father is the man I had met the same day later on. Once I was heading back, he did just as I said he would. If I would do a good interview, if I would just recognize, have something enough to prove the case, like about uh, past, that we know each other. And so he would go past me with a bicycle. He has a bicycle. He always had a bicycle. He has a mustaches. Uh, and he's very slim, nice, uh, and uh, from what I understand, he's got a house, but at the beginning of this hill. So he did exactly what he said he would do. There is a restaurant, uh, and uh, he did. He just went with the bicycle and turned around and went back, basically, to remind me. Uh, next time I hope that we will meet in person so uh, again this is a son of the South African white South African Afrikaner lady South African white Afrikaner lady and Slovenian man basically and the South African lady who learned over the course of the time to speak very good Slovenian language uh, enough to fool me uh, about as per whom exactly I dealt with I have forgotten over the course of the time that she's South African because kind of a look looks blended completely in with the language skills into Slovenian society I wouldn't realize who, where, what. So that was the neighbor, that was not the father, he, they tell me. <laughs> and uh, it's a very friendly cat that comes. Uh, it's a beautiful cat that comes. And it's a cat that lives with him in the winter time, is all the time next to him. And in the summertime, this cat loves freedom. Is a freedom loving cat. Mom asked me if I come often, and I tell them where exactly I come from. Uh, this is a trouble also with this uh, weight loss and stuff like that. Uh, it was also the people, as I stated, that will live inside of this home presented themselves with visitors, myself, and stuff like that. They created a total, excuse me, fuck up. Uh, they would get people like myself, also I was told in Poland, then doppelgangers that would go to the people involved in MK Ultra and collected physical proofs, uh, cards, uh, like SD cards, with the videos, with the audio recordings and stuff like this. It was ransacked case through and through thousand times by the police. People were terrorized everywhere in US and in Poland and everywhere and in Russia and in Belarus and everywhere and in Serbia and in Slovenia and 
in Germany and everywhere. That's how they do it. That's how they make sure that you keep your mouth shut. Uh, or they shut your mouth in a different ways, basically. That's how they did this. That's what I was told under MK Ultra was done. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. It was good to for me. It was good. Uh, I, I tell them I do some journalism and I have to breathe fresh air, to cool myself, to air myself. I said it's not good to sit all the time. Uh, a gentleman only has 40% of lungs. He has a chronic disease, tells me. As we talk about exercise and so on, and that's what he tells me. 40% 40 of lungs. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Let me demonstrate to you a little bit this issue. Forty percent. Okay, forty percent of lungs. Uh, that means that's like a very, very difficult for to breathe. For things to be even worse, as I'm about to explain, his lungs collapsed. Um, let's just continue with this he says but thanks to the, the good nature here I am okay he tells me that he used to be capable to go all the way up walking to this church but in the summertime lately he no longer can do it I ask please tell me uh, is it like any way you possibly could cure this is it like a way to cure this problem is it possible to replace lungs it's some something that could be done about this he tells me no nothing I have this 22 years already uh, I was 16 years old Okay, 16 years old, so that you get basically the his age. His age is 38. Okay, so 38 years ago, the two produced this kit. Uh, and he tells me after I ask him how the hell this happened, he tells me uh, it happened basically on its own. Okay, it did not happen on its own. Okay. Um, 22 years ago, we are talking about the year 98, 99. We are talking about the year 98, 99. Uh, across the night, his lungs would collapse. Uh, the timing. Uh, is completely perfect as I stated as I'm about to explain but the first thing let's just do this with the MK Ultra proofs uh, it just what had happened is right across the night the lungs would just uh, they would just uh, how do you say descent collapse basically right across the night uh, when this thing did happen, this, this was 99, I think. 
I I told you about a lot of traumas MK Ultra traumas uh, I didn't know how to respond to this one when I was brought from the US and mom jumped in my face she accused me that that she was hysterical like normally any mom would be uh, I was I uh, I had no um, unlike the two daughters I have spoken with a gentleman about a little earlier who escaped to Germany uh, this guy was just not happy uh, lucky uh, he was too young he was 16 years old but For the Moskvichi, uh, you're never too young. Now what's really, really scary is the conduct of Borut Pahatu in this case. It's scary to me because I received instructions from the people that are like Mike Tyson, Dwayne Johnson, Obama. They will, they will be keep coming here and then also people like Bolet Pahor on how to view these things how to view these things how to present my MK Ultra case and what I can say is because she was South African she was simply labeled as a Nazi not seen like a human being like you would you would consider one as a human being but simply like you will take a stamp and just boom and brand one with a Nazi uh, well over the course of the time I didn't even know what the F excuse me was happening because this was you know, this was a trauma when I was brought back mom jumps in me these people always were happy to see me now it, it, it felt like the whole world turned against me already but um, and meanwhile I turned into something completely different I was no longer from the beginning that I was taking all this shit this was just a matter of time when I was going to take a stand for myself if, well if nobody takes if you don't take a stand nobody ever will take any kind of stand basically for you I took a stand believing that nobody ever would take a stand for me. But they did. The locals, adult men, they started to recruit like a partisans. And at one point in time, this kind of humiliations, beatings in front of the partisan memorials were stopped by the locals. The Slovenian government was actually threatened physically with facing a total revolt. Just like the Serbian tanks, just like the Serbian planes did when they attempted an occupation, a military occupation of Slovenia in 91. And the police visibly lost control over the situation to the degree that beatings, humiliations in front of the partisan memorials and I am from the partisan family from both sides a heavy partisan family that's how far the crime went uh, they no longer could afford that uh, it's worse the truth broke free and the partisans alone learned about what truly went on about this whole scam but what I was stricken with and this is why such an approach to what black lies matters movement uh, I want you to feel I want you to understand that I have a zero tolerance for your conduct. 
for your criminal conduct. Zero forgiveness, no forgiveness. I don't even believe you anything. It did go so far that well it made me determined to do it this way despite the brainwash despite all kinds of stuff on how I should view things and I discuss this in continuation it's a heavy one but your leaders make sure they made bloody sure I wouldn't believe you ever ever again even after you're going to issue a apology, if you're going to issue one, I am not going to believe you anyway. So I'm telling you like this. I'm telling you like the Serbs told me in Belgrade about how they would view me, the opposition, if I would even prove my case as like innocent in this case. I'm telling you in a way I was treated by your people in the US how they treated me with what kind of approach they had with conscience they delivered their racist issues against me for being a white person I guess white I guess I don't like to even identify myself as white you understand that That's what mom tells me. She reminds me of the full moon, of the full moon, what happened with the full moon. Um, she told me this on the Ranki Ultra about this thing. These are very, very familiar, strange stuff she says about the full moon. Uh, it, the bad stuff happens uh, with his lungs, and that's, I understand, true. <laughs> As she reminds me of that stuff. So it's his entire life basically that is destroyed. I want you to know that he was begging me, asking me to please do this uh, video for him in a form, in a way, so that he said. But you know, he said the people that involved in this MK Ultra case, he knew about this London Royals, he knew about uh, Berlin, about influential. So I am gonna ask you, I'm gonna repeat you his words. Maybe, you know, just maybe they have some kind of solution, a technology that would that would spare me of this of this suffering because yeah since age 16 and he was doing a biking he was do he was a really good biker he was overconfident uh, he was like uh, overconfident in a way that he assured me that we are Slovenian here you are okay you're gonna be okay this and that and then all of a sudden within six months one year the next time I saw him his lungs collapsed so he's asking you, wherever you are from, if you do have a capacity to look into his health case, lungs-wise, to please help. He gave his life for Slovenia, definitely did. I don't actually even know what, what to say about this stuff. 16 and then 22 years like a plant. With a 40% capacity. In continuation, he tells that within this 22 years, his health, lungs-wise, deteriorated only for 5%. 5% is not normal. So there must be some kind of reason. There has got to be something he said. If we would know the reason we could possibly correct this. So if you can please help this man, please do so. He paid in a humongous way with his suffering also to the people 
of South Africa where I believe just like in the United States of America it's more than corrective discrimination that goes on I don't believe in it I believe in numbers I believe in what mainstream media is not talking about I believe in this phenomenon of Donald Trump I believe in what I read in the media that's why I said to the movement black lives matters all lives matter wake the fuck up because it's more than court to it the numbers strongly suggest not only is racial numbers but crime records that something is not right very bad picture in South Africa and very very bad in the US he explains me what lungs how it all functions uh, he tells me it's like a soft materia you know it's like a soft materia and yeah. it does have a very very tiny hose through which the air is flowing it must be it cannot be static this hose this this organ must be very dynamic must stretch yeah. must be capable to stretch the holes become hard in my case he tells me they, they become hard uh, the elast elasticity uh, elasticity uh, the elasticity dynamic they lose the ability to move they become static hard instead that means that they are not uh, moving they are no longer the breathing they are no longer functioning yeah there is no way he tells me there is a transplantation option that exists he tells me that if he would consider transplantation trans to transplant lungs if it will be totally successfully he would maybe gain four to five years of life that's all which is catastrophe because yeah. he tells me as long as I have a quality of life in, in a level I have I would just not consider this he says I like it I like it here because of the weather you know, because it's dry it's it's perfect here for this kind of disease for this kind of problem this is like the best you can have yeah. and she tells me and you're from Karka right he says Karka right 22 years that you have this I tell him wow. I did go three times and, and I tell him about the neighbors I met <laughs> we, we had a good talk with the neighbors also from Kirka Pharmaceutical, like my mom, dad. Yeah, 
Uh, nej, nej, det som du kallar för att åt ta vi några kallar för att urnärda. Ja, vi We establish who also the people where I have spoken with. I tell, I tell, if I properly remi uh, remember you, I tell the mother, you are very uh, church-wise involved, I tell her. You are Catholic, you are religious. Um, that's one of the things Borat Pahar, I thought that he had a problem with because of this, that the problem was, um, because it, 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 it sound like, it's, it really sound from this side, from this end, from the Eastern European politicians end, it was about the Catholicism that was a problem. It was like that, I repeat, is that was like a problem. It's not that I would remember that because I remember her. This is a really good-looking lady, uh, but the thing is, she always wear a clothing that was different. I remember that stuff, and I know that it was religious. So. Okay, there you go. Now they tell me what it is. Um, Dutch, Dutch church, Dutch, basically Dutch church, a Protestant. And that's completely non-existing here in Slovenia. Well, it's existing. There are people like that too. But maybe, I don't know, maybe what? 0.5% or something like that. We don't have this practically here. We have a Roman Catholics like Italians have like in Austria, like in Croatia, like in Hungary, like in Poland, like in Czech Republic, you know, Roman Catholicism, like in France, Spain, uh, that kind of stuff. We don't have a Protestants here. Now, she was raised in a Dutch uh, Protestant faith. That's completely different. And yes, she did wear this interesting clothing and stuff like that. She was very church, very church, very, very, uh, oh my gosh, she was like, uh, I had a feeling like it was like a female priest or something like that whenever I would go by. So there you go, I have identified this very well. Uh, uh, Dutch Reformed Church. Okay. She says, she says, she says the mom is blessed now. The mom is now in heaven. Yeah, because, yeah, of course. Why? Uh, and she says, so where do you remember this from? Uh, in a little bit, she's going to also mention how with the husband they would go to the cool street. Uh, the thing is that everybody involved in this MK Ultra, they got something out of it. And a lot of people used this for the trips. And what this couple did, the husband and she, um, they got a trip again with a cruise line um, just as the two met first and guess who else was also on that cruise that would come by I was not on the cruise but they make this monkey this one here board the ship uh, so they took the pictures with the monkey and then I guess they got me in one of the ports out again and brr, whatever the hell they took me Tu je 
mom is blessed now when I say when I said this about this church and about the stuff so yeah uh, I I I yet have to report other stuff there is more deaths there is more misfortune it's this kind of stuff that that eats me that yeah the people the people involved in MK already understand because they know about this case they know how traumatic this for me this stuff was they know what I have gone through don't think that I am upset that I'm angry that I am sorry that mom kind of blamed me for this misfortune don't think about it's just that when something like this happens it feels like that your whole world collapsed and when you're brought back to life like the case was with me in Miami and this was not the final I, I would get traumas from one dot to another so many people this is in Slovenia but there's people affected also in the Czech Republic and in Poland it was just it would be a lot a lot of trauma you think that every one of the things like this hit me emotionally really really hard sometimes I would wake up from this MK Ultra and I remembered the shit and once it was a case like this that I swear I didn't even know how to get up from the bed anymore I didn't know what I would want, I what I would do about this anymore? What? Stop. Let's just stop about something that doesn't have answer. Okay, this is a trauma on top of the trauma. The problem is this shit is real. This shit is not as I was telling myself. It's not real. It's real. And it doesn't get better when you're saying to yourself this shit is not real and it doesn't get better when you start to blame the smallest people because you feel that you are even smaller than the smallest people and you're saying to yourself you're not drugged up you can do something about it I'm completely drugged up I'm completely defenseless if injustice is taking place against you, why the hell are you taking shit and you're not helping us out? It doesn't help. There is no way to escape this bloody reality, you understand? So, I'm not angry, I'm just relieved in a way, but it takes time to settle. And I do want to share pain, honest to God, I do want to share pain, I do want to understand what people go through, what people went through, I, it doesn't sit to me easily and goes away. All this stuff is going to take me years, many, many years to chew on, and there is so much, so many misfortunes, so many things that happen to so many people. Uh, yeah, I'm noticeably shaken. I'm noticeably shaken. I'm noticeably shaken. I'm noticeably shaken. I'm, I keep thinking about if there is like something. But this this young man practically do not have any life. Okay, he just didn't have any any life. You know. I try to give them a hope. You know. I try to give them a hope and I sincerely hope that there is something that he have spoken me about on the side on that MK Ultra because he would keep meeting me over the course of the years that there is something that we could help him out have life because since he's 16 year old it's like a plant like I said he can't be like that 
I'm not gonna say that he deserves the chance but I'm gonna say everything must be done to to make it happen basically for him for him to have a life basically he says the main thing the main goal anywhere in this case in my case he says is to know the cause of this thing and he said they still don't know anything about what caused to me this kind of health condition how this happened yeah he tells that in 22 years mm -hmm. in a 22 year period it's only five percent no more than five percent his health condition worsened nobody can understand how that's possible so there is a chance that if they would learn what exactly the cause of this thing is i'm gonna say his life or i should say whatever is left out of his life because now he's already age 38 39 uh, he would get something out of his life he no longer would have to be like a plant okay so please help if you can Okay, mom keeps reminding me of MK Ultra scenario. Uh, since we mentioned the reason, mom start talking about how uh, it's the full moon that has the the influence on this uh, on this health on the health condition of the lungs, uh, and it's quite incredible. But yeah, I know, but it, it's got to be something that that's got to be done if it's only possible to help this man. It's time. Very interesting story, but she says that people even laugh at him, and they tested this. Uh, that his name is Ergen, Doctor Ergen, physician, and it came out that this is the way it is. He said it was a full moon. He says, Mom hurts me, hurts me, the lungs pain. He couldn't stand the pain anymore. That's how bad it was. then they realized they saw this full moon it was a, such a big beautiful full moon Uh, basically the possibility for this according to him according to what he investigated is that if something would go through uh, through and through it would be the lung that would basically collapse, crash down. But he says in very, very seldom occasions, it's also a chance 
that can the same thing happen on its own. Uh, that there was a play with the with the needles and that kind of stuff under MK Ultra. This I already have spoken about. I did talk to you about that stuff. It concerned other issues. Uh, there you have it. I wasn't the only one who have experienced a similar kind of playing with needles. Because trust me, this is almost certain. Ne da bih spomenuo da kažem. Iko je recimo takav iskos koji će biti u disku u vidi pa šta već je krt, ne? Pa bolji kod već. Najte su vidi jedan krt. To him it was seven times that the lungs collapsed. I za te su stvari. Šanka prosim, sedam krt se to vam zubira. Ne, kad na desni strani dva, kad na lidi strani. Five times on the right side and twice on the left side. Se sedmo. Tako, samo u sebe. Collapsed on its own. Uh, and he said they know how to stop that. They do hang um, with a surgery. They do manage to attach uh, the wing um, on the ribs basically so that it would not uh, succumb okay on its own again so it would not collapse again so it would not succumb again the lungs would not succumb again and they did this to him they attached this this on the ribs basically For the breeding, consequently, because of this surgical procedure, I need four times more force than what otherwise would. So this is a very difficult process, very difficult life process. Please, if you can help in this case, please help. He says, because it's tremendous physical efforts that are necessary, what otherwise a normal person could do very easily, type of work, I cannot afford myself this kind of work, so I have to do the kind of work that involves brain, basically, instead. Uh, when he mentioned the work, uh, I'm going to tell you that he does the work on the computer. Um, he is doing like some kind of engineering on the computer. He does the computer work. I was inside. He's got a room with a computer and stuff like that. And he also told me that if I would do a good video, that he would take more time to spend with me and we could discuss more about all this problematic that he and I went through. Uh, I'm asking you to please help this man. This is another MKUltra proof. I was inside his residence. If you can please help this man, uh, give him at least some time in his life. He lost 22 years of life. He practically didn't have life. I had more life than he had. I had close to nothing. Uh, but I was at 23. I got myself into a total trap. But 
he was 16 and 20 for the last 22 years this is what his life is like that's not life really if you can help wherever you are you have abilities to help help please Nē, es nesam sa tev sākas sprokam, pat man pēna tā, ka par jā tev kārtī. Un ko es ne vēl? I say, I, this is not my profession, I'm not a, 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 a from medical profession, but maybe there is someone, some friend, something that possibly could help about this. Mom described what it was like, how he came home and told the pain. pain. Mm -hmm. Mom believed it was actually a hard problem when it all started. So. Yeah. 98-99 is when this happened. This happened in 98. Uh, this exactly happened in 98 before I returned back in 99. Yeah. So it happened in 98 still. I remember this stuff. I remind about this part as a memorial about the stuff that went on uh, and mom does not hesitate she tells straight what went on here she confirms was not right uh, it was wrong and I tell, I, I tell both that to yeah. me, to me, uh, it's not the same. To me, it's not just as I was told many times when we pe when we walked past this house. They reminded about every resident what to tell. They did not want uh, me to say anything about uh, a neighbor, how the two girls escaped to Germany didn't want anything about that stuff. The two were really beautiful. One was gone very shortly. I don't know if she was like a year or something like that. And then the other one also disappeared. Uh, they didn't want to know anything about the stuff they had done, the wrong things they had done, why it happened this way. They, they didn't want to know anything about it. Um, the first one, the first daughter, I think, the first daughter, I think she was in Slovenia for, for like in 95, I, I don't know if I saw her in 96 that she would still be here. It was something like this. The other one, the younger one, however, you see, I know this stuff. I disappeared sometimes after she graduated and all this. Uh, just like a sister, like in 99, I think, that she was gone. It was something like this. There must be a difference, age difference-wise. I don't know. Maybe she's just younger, like four years than the other one. If she's 50, then the other one's probably 46. That's the way it went. And rather than assume responsibility, assuring a well-being of Slovenian citizens, uh, these people have a completely different agenda on their mind. Now, 
when it comes to Slovenia follow through I was accused a little bit institutionalized yeah, Mr. Barack Obama American president and I was told on MK Ultra. I was told how they're gonna you're gonna fuck me oh we're gonna fuck you excuse me I'm using this language but in the US there were so many people that took pride in this I remember the Prince William you are going inside of a mental hospital there is nothing we can do for you a whole bunch of people from the US okay, you are going inside of the mental hospital that's it that's it that's it all of a sudden I was guilty for everything happily stroke the deal with the Eastern European governments believing that he's gonna seal the deal with a simple signature for American side that was Barack Obama who did in continuation you're gonna learn exactly what he did what Barack Obama exactly what he did you're gonna learn about why I turned the way I did what really the truth is What I can say is accused, I didn't finish this, accused of attempt to exterminate Slovenian people. It's exactly what I was accused of attempt to exterminate Slovenian nation along Roma and Jewish population. This was the accusation I got from the mental hospital. This was the accusation I got from the court. Uh, whatever the hell I was in real time, whether that be in the US or whatever place, I was always Slovenian first, but then I was European. Uh, that's how Angela Merkel got idea for her political agenda to sign as European. But whatever I was, the first thing I was was Slovenian. And many actually were hurt because of my saying Slovenian in a way that they have done everything possible for me to give up on being Slovenian under extreme circumstances that they have made numerous other people give in their nationalities I never did I never ever did not in the US not anywhere fought for this country to the last breath because I believe in its people I believe in Slovenian nation I believe in Slovenian people I believe in this nation as one I believe in solidarity I believe in helping one another but it's not like this with everyone uh, this people here understood uh, they knew that I'm firmly obligated committed to the people from here the Slovenian people to idea about this country they knew about this stuff remained this way despite everything that was done to me in front of the partisan memorials and despite everything that was done to me I remained the same the Slovenian people matter to me regardless of their background they matter to me because as long as they can relate to Slovenian as first as number one I don't know what else I possibly could care for if not for my own people I don't know now, I remember when I grew up here in Yugoslavia I remember where it was going up I remember what we fought I remember what we all wanted to change live different associate idea about life about the freedom with I remember all this 
And the most important is that people remember this. These people remember me very well. They knew that I would not leave them behind under no circumstances. These people have seen a lot of betrayal. Uh, maybe the worst that can happen to you. And it didn't only happen to me. And this, it did happen to these people too, I know. It did happen to many other people. Is when the fellow Slovenian guy, on who's a politician, whose goal, whose agenda should first be your well-being, your safety is the number one when it comes to well-being your safety and would come in your face and would see you let's say suffer like this boy suffers in this unbearable situation and pain in vain almost and would basically tell you to just give up to just give up basically to give in give in the pain give in These people never gave in. These people believed in me, just like I believe in them. They never gave in. They fight for this idea, for Slovenia. And I will never turn my back to the people like this. I will never turn my back to any Slovenian. This is never going to happen. They know who is in front of them. They know who I am. I am going to ask again if anything can be done. Please help this man. <laughs> uh, no way that that anyone could say that doesn't know me I tell but your mom had a beautiful story to tell you know your mom had a, such a beautiful story you know uh, about the church and stuff I try to turn the positive way so that we would not spend the time only thinking about the worst and the mom tells and now uh, you will go and you will write about me you will go and you will have the story for your newspaper you're gonna write me in the newspaper yeah. the people know so she's laughing uh, the mom was very, very different. She wear this different clothing. Uh, she was very pretty too. Uh, and she was just down to earth, basically. This was very religious, church-oriented, serious person. Um, very something very very special you know because you would go from one house to the other and from this dots to dots to dots and I always my turn would also come you know to, to visit these people they would bring me here and every person had something special and she was very special with her clothing you know in a way the way she dressed and 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 whenever I came over there this was like she was very serious very serious she was very, very committed, uh, I'm going to say, to Slovenian idea. She was very committed to Slovenian idea. I don't know what else I would say. She learned such a beautiful Slovenian language, too. <laughs> Because of 
this mom uh, there were investments in Slovenia it was something that brought to the table and kings and queens that sent business people and it was investments that were done the Kirka Pharmaceutical the companies this is the stuff that brings the people and I tell the two that the mom was very special in the sense when some very very negative stuff stuff went on there was some very negative people here that like I said I would not even consider as a part of this nation here that were doing the stuff that was Milan Kuchan protested against the chocolate factories in Slovenia Milan Kuchan protested against everything luxurious but guess what once this luxurious businesses that would provide special services for the wealthy people wealthy visitors to Slovenia came to life forget it he became like a number one client of those he became a number one client in these chocolate factories and uh, inside of the terme and uh, would take advantage of this stuff he's a real king in this country that's a Milan Kuchan except that he gets services for free lives like a king but is not a king well, that's actually more special status you have no idea how much the royals spend on a security and so on he doesn't have to worry about that stuff and it goes the same thing for Valenza he goes the same thing for all these politicians Eastern European politicians they get whatever on the West royalties get for free and they have nothing to worry about because they're just a politicians after all they're not royalties right Dice Coco, when I come to Holland, I'm still in Holland. Coco, let me borrow it. Coco, let me borrow it. Coco, let me borrow it. The Protestant religion, that's, that's a big plus, it's a big thing. Yeah. I am, uh, don't get me wrong, I am a Roman Catholic, but I feel that every religion, everything that adds, diversity whatever the hell it is and it doesn't matter from what country you are where you are from if you are committed to this idea to be Slovenian to live as a Slovenian in solidarity with the Slovenian people with this idea uh, it's a plus for the country it opens the windows of opportunity to another culture to another place and it helps overall to the country to the good standing whether that be outside market whether that be investments uh, that come uh, it's a good thing it, it's really a cultural enrichment diversity is a big plus mm -hmm. uh, I get in mind about the Martin yeah, Luther and so on Anglicanska English uh, this is very uh, religious, uh, very uh, technical religious stuff. Yeah, that we are all Christians, of course, we are all Christians. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
25, 26, 22 years ago, every time it was special for me whenever I would come here to visit you, see your mom, uh, basically. And he said, that's very difficult, you will know my mom. Yeah? What he tried to tell me is that uh, mom is actually not from here. But this weekend where son is, he is in the family already since... 1870 the I don't know that's like what uh, 30 plus 120 about 150 years yeah these are the people here from Novo Mesto uh, but mom is not from here mom is from South Africa uh, her Slovenian language however is so good that I I did not know that that she's actually from South Africa somewhere God knows in the rear of my brain uh, definitely these people told me but I did not recall this uh, I was sure this is a Slovenian lady here uh, I'm talking to very good Slovenian skills language skills uh, impossible that you would tell that, that she's from South Africa she's laughing yeah uh, Uh, the mom, however, South Africa. Are there? Here. Africa. A few thousand uh, miles away from here. South Town. South Africa. Johannesburg. It was actually Slovenian that traveled to South Africa and that's where they got married. And uh, that's... Uh, it was in 1972 the two got married. Jeez, I was born in 71, okay. Uh, the two are married 50 years, so that's a long matrimony, beautiful matrimony. So, as the son said, it wouldn't be possible that I could recall the mom. I said, that's not possible that I would not in that case, because it's 50 years they're here. So, he says, yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right. Now, they just wanted to technically correct me about where exactly the mom is from, which I definitely would not. And uh, what they got, they got to know each other in Portugal. Uh, I already told the story about the cruise line ship. I told about that kind of stuff already. That's how the two got met with the father. Now I am I am I am completely again in shock. I am again uh, I was assuming that she is somewhere from God knows maybe some some uh, eastern region, maybe Stoyarska, something like this. I don't know, maybe some Gorenska, something around here, maybe even Dolensk, I don't know. The accent, it's, it's pretty, really Slovenian, the way she speaks. Uh, and actually, <laughs> it's coming to me that she's South African, actually. Because, folks, we did have a Protestants here, too, in Slovenia. Uh, we did have a Protestants. Actually, something really bad, really sad happened one time. In the city called Šentjernej, with the Protestants. 
I don't like to talk about that stuff, but this was very, very long ago. Uh, you know, that war with uh, uh, Roman Catholics and Protestants, this goes really back, back in time. Uh, so it, it wouldn't be strange that it would be a Protestant here in Slovenia too, that's like the same like a Roman Catholic basically, but she's actually really from South Africa and I know I'm really wow. Okay then. So this thing was not a problem. Okay. <laughs> your mom is you know, she tells me quickly, she tells me I have the Slovenian citizenship. Yeah, of course you have the Slovenian citizenship. I am glad you have a Slovenian citizenship. I, 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 I try to call him, I, I tell her it's okay, I'm happy that you have a Slovenian citizenship. Don't get me wrong, don't get, don't think about it, I'm not happy that you have a Slovenian citizenship. Uh, I said I would just want to get a solution for your son so that something could be done about it. Uh, the mom, uh, the mom learned Slovenian language on its on her own by listening to the radio and reading books. When father was not even at home, that's what she would read and listen to the radio, and that's how she learned Slovenian language. It's just like completely outstanding. Uh, and I also I tell her, I tell her I also understand Afrikaans. I tell her. You speak Afrikaans. This is your uh, mother tongue. She tells yes. I, I tell her I also understand Afrikaans, which I do because Afrikaans is actually Dutch, English, German, uh, and Dutch closer to the Dutch than any other language is what Afrikaans is. And Dutch is nothing other than a mixture of English and German, basically. Well, maybe there's some French in it or something like that. But it's not really uh, a science. It's to read, at least read, you can grasp pretty quickly. And years ago, and that's where the big resentment came against, I did advocate a white minority in South Africa because of what accumulated in the US and that's what I'm going about to go next to, uh, I started to believe about something else that's happening. Uh, and the truth is that I was not far from the truth. The truth is that today I am certain that something bad is happening. Not only in South Africa, but also in the US. That's what I'm going to head next, and I'm going to explain to you well why I know for a fact something really bad is happening to the people in the U.S. And I don't think it's happening all, only to the white people in the U.S. and in South Africa, something really bad. But I think for the most part, it is. I think this affirmative, as they call it, a correction action, uh, maybe even anti-discrimination action as they call one anti-discrimination is good but I think this corrective action I think this is something completely different uh, I think this is about some completely completely other issues and the numbers itself 
talk clearly about what those are. The only thing I regret about my activism is that it did go into extreme. Uh, the anger overwhelmed me. That's but basically that's what it is. It's a it's an English and German language of the guns. So when a language is very difficult, but it's a beautiful language, I tell, and they both agree that they like Slovenian language. Okay, he wishes me all the best, they wish me all the best, I wish them all the best. Yeah, I still am alone, just like a son, I have no family, no wife. We give a part, I wish the two the best, and that's all there is to it. Uh, it's now translated, the 30 minutes of this audio is being translated. I am going to play the whole audio again. Uh, I think this is the best thing for me to do, just to have a few more people that either self-identified, uh, they definitely identified with me, and even better, I did point out a few things that definitely prove beyond any doubt and here are true case because we're not supposed to know each other from anywhere uh, in the part two after i'm going to play you this audio original audio i'm going to concentrate on these issues um, uh, this is why let me explain to you i have decided to see it just as you have heard me saying at the end of this audio well, he's got a lot to do with this thing here. Actually, he's got everything to do with it. Um, this here is uh, probably Lona Tyson. Lona Tyson is a daughter of Mike Tyson. It's maximum. Her age is 30. Uh, now, that would make impossible for me to meet the lady as you see right here that would look somewhat like this and it's possible that this is not even Lorna I was told because the two look extraordinary close physically resembling one another and now I'm talking about the older daughter nobody ever have written about anywhere but a lot of people know about Mike Tyson, his older daughter, um, who in 95, therefore 26 years ago, looked just like what you see here. Okay? Um, probably that she was not 30, as Mike Tyson's daughter is today, right? But Mike Tyson did have a beautiful, beautiful daughter, and has a beautiful daughter. Um, I, I don't know what exactly I saw on the MK Ultra. Um, uh, this is very beautiful, for one thing. This is very beautiful. What you see here, wh what you see here, to me is very beautiful. This, this, this is a very beautiful woman here. I, if this is Lorna, it's really beautiful. If it's not, 
and a possibility is that that is not uh, the possibility is that if this is Lorna that the other girl even looked more beautiful than this and well it's kind of a hurt but the other girl that Mike Tyson had eventually was a daughter his daughter uh, I have totally 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 fallen for I got as the first choice in the United States of America a marriage choice I got married to Ecuadorian lady she this was an Indian from South America uh, but she was much older than myself and that didn't look promising really on a long period not that was like more to get me a residency no, legal papers basically avoid deportation back to a heaven Slovenia um, what I can tell you is in 95 and in 96 I didn't even think it's going to be a trouble for me. I, I didn't know what, what to think. I came to the US. I, um, the first girl I met, uh, but that was much too young for me. Luckily, I didn't get into that. That was also throwing herself after me. Uh, right after I disembarked from the ship was actually a Jewish girl. But that was underage. That was not 18. That was like too young, young enough for me to get me in trouble. Also, I was young. I was 23, but she was, I think, like maybe 16, something like that. It would be a trouble. Look, I had no fucking idea about, and excuse me, my language, uh, about discrimination about causing anybody any kind of harm in US I, I had no idea I knew when I saw a beautiful woman that was beautiful and yeah the first woman under MK Ultra that I expressed a serious interest before any other woman under MK Ultra was a black woman it was a Mike Tyson's daughter the one nobody even writes about i think the mike tyson actually has two daughters but that could be a mistake one for sure the second daughter that i thought is a younger daughter probably was a lorna because lorna knew this older daughter the older daughter gave exactly this kind of picture here in fact that you see here to Lorna uh, and Lorna would try to resemble the photos of what you see here so it would blend so eventually it would make me look stupid because Mike Tyson anticipated that I would not even realize that I would realize the age difference uh, and then I would just back down and be silent about it that basically he would intimidate me then they had other scenarios which even suggested on how I would go uh, and take all the photos that look like this down from the internet and compare them uh, with one another and demonstrate which one is Lorna and which one is the other daughter from Mike Tyson this is how tricky this shit became but the worst part yet Lorna doesn't even know about or maybe does is how all that stuff happened and that was a really bad stuff uh, Mike Tyson I'm not saying that this was nothing but trouble this was nothing but evil the thing is I don't believe him he ever changed about anything in his life he have unusually a lot of demands for me requirements and he made my life as much as impossible as a life can be impossible he ruined he screwed my life up uh, the daughter i'm talking about 95 96 97 
in 98 she got married um, do you like yes three fucking years do you like yes do you want to marry yes weren't thinking how I'm gonna tell my mom to Slovenia in 96 I was 100% that this man uh, whom I met under Anki Ultra uh, is gonna really give me his daughter for the wife that this is really it and I started to think actually I said to myself Bob it's time for you to figure out it's to make a call to Slovenia and tell about this but this was under MK Ultra and I really really related myself to this idea Mike Tyson looked good to me under MK Ultra he looked good he was good looking man and uh, this daughter she looked really good to me uh, you know what happened in 98? I gained a lot of weight in meanwhile. <laughs> this MK Ultra tall took a lot of shit. A lot of toll on me. In 98, I gained a lot of weight. And uh, the two with Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson did some very disgusting stuff along the way. I'm going to explain. Started to laugh at me that I'm obese, that I'm a loser, and so on and so forth. Basically, it was a bye-bye with another man. And the lady that Mike Tyson inserted in 97, in 97, Mike Tyson came up with the idea that he did something to his daughter. And now, he injected, interjected into MK Ultra a lady that was obese. It looked different, but you are drugged up. And what the hell do you know? He even intensified this shit with saying to me that, you know, it's just between the two of us that you're not going to tell this to the family because I'm going to really get him in a trouble. And uh, I was sure that this man is evil as fuck. For me to believe that this is a real evil, it was not necessary much because before that, he did some other more disgusting stuff with me. I am gonna get into this in video number two. Uh, assured that this guy is evil assured that he really have done something to his daughter all of a sudden the daughter appeared back and started to abuse me with Mike Tyson that I'm a loser I'm a beast look at me this and that and since I refuse to be with this video obese lady and that lady was a cleaner from the lady whom he impregnated with this girl who became a woman so his first daughter uh, he branded me as a racist okay so now because I didn't want to go with this cleaning lady uh, after he humiliated me he even told me that the daughter only after I go in a ring with him sparring uh, and prove him that I deserve her and so on uh, that because I don't want to be with this cleaning lady that I'm a racist Mike Tyson, this was nothing really. Mike Tyson got idea to destroy me from his manager, Don King, his promoter, Don King, who was here in 1995. Now, Don King was everything but a criminal. Don King 
who was everything but a gangster. Don King was everything but uh, what he was trying to present himself in a public way because in the first place and that's what you are in the first place Don King was a black a neo-nazi thug a black fascist a black racist a black hater he was nothing but a hatred that's what the real Don King was. That's why I said that he was not a criminal, that he was not a gangster, that he was not all that shit was invented about the Don King by the mainstream media to cover up his real character he was afraid of to be revealed to the public. Along Mr. Mike Tyson. Both these people were more than anything and that's what in my opinion you are a racist a black fascist a black neo-nazis then they were gangsters then they were criminals and all that stuff but to cover up the crime against me who was guilty to be a racist to be a nazi who was branded as a racist as a nazi by the black thugs, by the black racists, by the black Nazis, to destroy innocent human beings. The mainstream media, investigators, police, FBI, Central Intelligence Agency had to make sure the truth would not come about them. So that's why I decided to see the Black Lives Matters as a Black Lives Matters not as black lives matters that's how this video here came to life because this is repentless this is hateful as it get person individual people don king i'm here for the will of the people in 2016 claim that donald trump is not a racist well, a Don King came on a picture together with a Donald Trump. Don King claimed Donald Trump is not a racist because Donald Trump is a racist. And the only way to protect himself from being seen as a racist, the only way to protect himself from what he had done to me personally in the 1995 when he told me that he's going to destroy me. And I think this kid, this South African, white South African kid was destroyed, killed. His life was wasted by the people who came to Slovenia and have claimed these people here and have claimed to be a partisans. They have claimed to be associated talking about the Vladimir Putin I'm talking about the Chetniks I'm talking about the assassins that massacred killed anywhere from Bosnia from Kosovo from Croatia in Slovenia under pretense they are partisans they murdered in Ukraine they killed it's incredible because you have a ladies doing this kind of stuff too they're ladies they are bloodthirsty people. As it gets. The only way to protect his image from what he have done to me personally. Because you know, ladies and gentlemen, I was thrown literally inside of the mental asylum, inside of a mental hospital accused of being Nazi and I don't know what, like I said, attempting to exterminate Slovenian people and I don't know what, Roma people and Jewish people, I don't know what, exterminate. That's basically after 16 years of torture, 17, 
after 18 years of torture to be exact accused of being racist the new nazi thug attempting to exterminate slovenian people by what you see here by what i demonstrated to you Barack Obama, who knew everything about this case, signed this stuff against me to get me killed, literally for sure, in Slovenia. After everything that was done to me in the United States of America, Mike Tyson and Don King couldn't afford themselves to do anything other than whatever the mainstream media, Central Intelligence Agency, and Federal Bureau of Investigation have covered up for them, advised them to do. So, Donald Trump, a real, a real racist, a real neo-Nazi thug, gained a sympathy even of an individual, <laughs> if you want to call this a Black Lives Matter individual, definitely a black panther who was a racist a neo-nazi a black kk himself attempt to cover up the truth this is why this is coming to the to the life now you see this is why mike tyson this is why mike tyson further orchestrated actually Don King did with Mike Tyson a disagreement for which he told me the two became completely disturbed because at the same time the Federal Bureau Central Intelligence Agency caught Mike Tyson doing very nasty stuff to me already in like 97 96 they caught him the first time it was maybe 96 they did not caught him he did some really nasty stuff to me, but the second time they actually got him. And they learned that he did something very bad. I don't even know what it was. Don King organized learning about Central Intelligence Agency, learning about the Federal Bureau investigation, about his involvement also here in Slovenia with Vladimir Putin, with the Chetniks, learning about the truth about Don King being a racist, ultimate, black, neo-Nazi thug hater who ruined somebody's innocent life. Don King sacrificed his public image on behalf of Mike Tyson by subjecting himself to some kind of head kicking and uh, that kind of stuff as you see here in 2003. So it was a lie so that he could protect Mike Tyson's image. Mike Tyson was more hateful than Don King. He was more racist. He was more racist thug than Don King. I don't know which one of these two was more racist. I don't know which one of the two lied more because these people lied. Real people like myself died. The shit didn't stop there. Here, you can see a man talking about the donkey. He's a tough fighter. And you see this guy? I met him. That guy, I was training in the gym. Think of his name. I you see this guy here? This reporter here? Was, was the sh Both of these Italians were involved in MKUltra. Both of them were involved in MKUltra. They started to investigate. You would say investigate. Mike Tyson, they started to investigate Don King. The most they got was Don King. They claimed it's Don King. And the truth about my case was so outrageous. It was so atrocious. It, the cover-up of FBI, of Central Intelligence Agency, was so atrocious that they tried desperately to turn Don King is image from extreme racist thug 
whose conduct caused people elsewhere outside of the US lives into a criminal so they revealed the truth about Don King how he you know killed a person here who owed money and stuff like that uh, more for I don't know emotional satisfaction than re a real need okay uh, when I see the stuff like this that you do that you even try to brand him as a criminal that you even try to save his real image I have to charge you FBI I have to charge you Central Intelligence Agency with a hate crime I have to charge you with the ultimate hate crime I have to charge you with a racism I have to charge you with extreme hatred against me as a Slovenian native you understand why black lives matters and not black lives matters do you understand where I am coming from for the things to get worse Mike Tyson I met this lady and I refused her yeah nobody saying would right Mike Tyson had a lot of women Mike Tyson, for the things to get worse, who branded me as a racist, had other wives. He had uh, quite a few wives. And in 2009, this is what really, really hurt me. I don't know if it's here. This video is related to Mike Tyson as well, Don King. And in 99, it was, uh, it was, what year was it? I don't even know, 2003, sorry. Uh, yeah, in, in 2009, when I was brought to the US, it was a Mike Tyson that acted completely insanely, would get in my face in the US again, and life threatened me, and I don't know what kind of shit, that it was his uh, little daughter that I'm guilty that was killed that he's thinking that I got something really very much to do with it and stuff like that um, going from what I described into the shit like this uh, I can also say that entire time he talked about that he dreams about the day how you know he would play me this song and it should be like funny, entertaining. Um, it was not funny to me. It's not entertaining to me. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is the stuff I'm going to talk about in part two of this video. Let this just be for the part one. Uh, It accumulated his lies uh, accumulated it involved the police chiefs in New York it poli it involved a mayor Rudy Giuliani that rushed to his rescue but in this rescue and all this shit was more and more evidence they collected against Mike Tyson alone uh, and so for the benefit of the political agenda for the benefit of Donald Trump even for the benefit of disabling a Democrat party in the future if that would be necessary to do it it's not about the black lives matters it runs deeper into problems that's why ladies and gentlemen I decided uh, ultimately to go after these beasts they ruined my life they ruined me 26 years have no repentance whatsoever they couldn't come up to any terms 
they couldn't come up to any absolutely any any terms anything that my life would have value basically of any kind it was only whenever they needed the money whenever they needed the contracts it was a matter of convenience it was a matter of cover-up for one another that made me decide to pursue this whole thing to the best of my abilities to serve the truth not lies and ultimately give a chance to the people in Black Lives Matters, to the people in the US to decide to whether live by the truth or die by the lie. This guy was involved in MK Ultra. I'm gonna talk to you about that. And, and destroyed by these people. Nobody, however, used at his advantage more this Black Lives Matters, Black Lives Matters, than Vladimir Putin at the beginning. Branded as a racist, as a was a racist, uh, if I liked his wife, his lady, I couldn't get anywhere. Uh, if he would go apart, uh, something would be wrong with the lady, then you could. It's just a individual that, people for that matter, that the only thing you can trust, the only thing you can trust that comes out of them, it's a lie. Other than that, uh, you you can't trust anything about it. You can't trust absolutely anything about it. A lie after lie, a lie atop of the lie with a hope, I guess, that truth is gonna die. But the truth caught up. And the truth won't let go. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna play you this one more time, this audio here. Uh, and basically that's about it for me thanks for watching this video uh, till next time I'm gonna say this is a video part one of two uh, two of two is yet to come but at least you know what to expect in a part two what the video part two is gonna be about Okay.
Ja, jaz vem tole dost, ker bi... Ja, ko bi je tole videl. Mama moja. Ja, ja. Jaz kule več, ker pa se tole malo skule. Zato pri je malo, malo so malo zdrožene, ne. Ma bolj rokele. Se so malo zrisele tole okolo, ne. Da bo še lep. Ja, zmeri, ja, zmeri, ima zmeri kozo, pa pa da je kaj še, pa kako nekaj. Včera pa sem pol dan sprejetil, on je pa tukaj vzgledal, tukaj pravo, ni bilo. Ne, očel, ne, 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 ne,
ساکر زاگرس نے جو یو پی وی نس والے سے یہ سم پکیج دائے ایک ایسی مشکلات ہے بات کرتے ہیں ہم سب جو نا تو چلو نہیں تو چلو چلے گور گرک پکیج کو سماو کی سب کو نہیں Yeah. 
Се прав, били па сте на некаш на операција, и бил некаш на тесе. Не крие, не си во крие ствари така, кон тоа што то стопка на лакти на моторот се ке пуше со вене таки витрини со вене притиска. Ја. И на понавати е речеме се види че ти имаш како што шкодба за усите никам и тој че се сите. Имаш ти по шкодба за усите на предметот? Речеме не си во да ти пач не ми мош да ти прибие клеш. Pa se zgodi recimo, da te pušljajo, da te pušljajo pred sebi. Ja, seveda. Ker zra grevan, ne? Te pa zgodi v času, da te pa zgodi tudi samo od sebe. Te pa v času zgodi samo od sebe. Ne, da bi spogledal za kaj. To je recimo taka nekost, če se ti zgodi, se te zgodi pač na večer in krat, ne? Pa pol nikoli več. Ne, te se zgodi v sedem krat. Še enkrat prosim, sedemkrat se to vam zgodilo. Ja, sedemkrat na desni strani, dvakrat na levi strani. Se sedlo. Tako, samo od sebe. In potem pa to stvar, to pa znajo sam. Tako je nastavno, da dejansko tudi imaš to njeno zaleto, da si skrila na to trebno vreti. In to se vam mordi. Tako, tako. To je zgodno. In pa je pa posledično, zaradi bi se gremo posledično, in pa se treba pušiti. To je pa tisto. Najbolj nastavno, če se predstavljamo pa bodo drug primer, ne. Potem še slični, kot ko imamo tisti sedemček. Ja. Rabe zelo malo ledije za tisti. Ja. Če imaš, potem če imaš pa na vsoška igrala, ki so tisti sedem, ne. Ja. Rabeš pa vso svi. Ok. In jaz imam taka, recimo, tak sedem, za taj se je vsoška igrala. To je vsak odvisanje. Rabe potem vsko šte, ker več na pola, ki ga razpreš. To je vis. Mhm. Ta poanta. To je, ampak jaz, ko mogoče pozdaj zkaj zgovorim, to je bilo nekaj je pozitivna stvar vsega tega. Ja, se to človek vse tudi v nekaj grozni na sportivni strani. Lahko pa človek še vedno počina v grobnem obistvu. V grobno, recimo, jaz pač gre resnično. Ne mora biti aktivni. Lahko delam pa zelo, ker lahko delam pa zelo. Potem, recimo, ali pa ampala se delam tako stvari. Recimo, ker drugi pač nima časa, ne moram. Hvala Bogu, ampak mogoče pa bom jaz morda pri tej zadevi enkrat na kot je pomaga. Tako, če pa z informacijo se to vidimo. Ne, jaz nisem sicer v take stroke, ampak imam pa ene take prijate včasih, nikoli se ne ve, če bi morda ki ta zgovera. Jaz imam z novinarstvom okvarjen. Zdaj sem pa stranji pločnik. To je za take, tako take stvari, ampak je... Ampak se bi bilo zapisala, je bilo nekaj šel domov, ali je bilo veliko nočni nedelje, ali nekaj tako. Mama bi bi, mama bi bi to, če bi bi, jaz bi to povčil. To je jedno vjerovat v začetku, da to je zelo težko obnegeti, da bi 15 let in pa pol spolj takače spolno nastrel. To je nemogoče. In jaz mislim, jaz sem cilj, gledajte, bodno pošteni, da je bilo politika tate, tudi se zdravim vaše tiše, kot se zgajalo. Vemo roka na srce, tukaj ni bilo vredi, kot se se zgajalo. Zdaj, da se jaz tukaj zelo govorim. Men pa ni vse. Ker jaz se zdaj rekel breme skozi. Tu je. In to je tisto recimo, ki se ponaša v tem dnevnjarstvu. Tu je ena stvar, ki jaz pa tega ne, jaz pa sem ne vem. Če jaz tako povejam. Tu je pa težko potem ta sedem izbira. Tu je 
Rabbi Bereshit o zaman resim olacak o nalisi o mene zulu boluyor değil ki. Ne zulu da olmaz ki o da. Така да ни мива Ja, Najlepša hvala vam. program this program uh, I'd also dedicate to Slovenian police officer and this gentleman right here from Cleveland Ohio who was the one to catch Al Capone, gangster Al Capone. This is a Slovenian, Edward Body Kovacic is his name, involved in this very case, in this MK Ultra case. This is a Slovenian policeman who basically caught Al Capone. This was the man who got him. He was involved in this case. There is a movie. Uh, with Danny Green who played portrayed Edward Buddy Edward Kovacic um, and for what I don't even believe he passed away of natural causes because this Slovenian this police officer from Cleveland this Slovenian right here um, this man was like totally dedicated to my cause this man the family told me they probably did something to him because of your case this is how big this case is and so I just want you to uh, know that he is part of this case too he was involved in this case too he did not live the day he could see something like this like I have done today but regardless the day came and those accounted for this crime are gonna pay for it make no mistake about that 